So here you go guys on YouTube, here's a video today of Scott Smith who's come uh, for a lesson with myself today uh, through YouTube and Twitter and he's, he's seen my work and wanted to do a little bit of work on his golf swing today. Um, so he's come down to Trafford Golf Centre and we've done some massive changes to his golf swing. Uh, Scott's been playing for about 18 months, actually managed to get himself down to 17, which I think is pretty impressive in, seven, in 18 months. Our goal this year is to get as low as we possibly can and with the swing changes that we've made today, we've certainly got in the right track of making the big changes. What... Uh, Scott's issue was was he knew that he was coming over the top. He'd had lessons before, but he knew he was coming over the top, uh, but never really got seen his golf swing on video before. So he wanted to come down here, see it on video, and try and improve his over the top golf swing today. And we've made some massive changes. This is Scott on the left hand side first. Um, we're hitting same same club. The big thing we've just addressed in, in the setup wise, we have a pretty decent setup. You know, I feel quite confident with the setup. Just got a little bit close. So in this after swing, we just stood a little bit further away, but that was literally that's the only thing we changed in his setup position in his backswing at the moment though Scott's six foot four and it, as he went back in his swing he would pick the club up incredibly high very very steep lack of shoulder turn and his left arm would go super steep so he would not turn his shoulders and get really steep so what we've worked on today his takeaway was pretty good so we didn't want to lose that so we've maintained the takeaway which we've done so well and then taught from there to swing flatter with a better shoulder rotation I'm going to show it from the front view in a minute as well so we wanted to swing a little bit flatter with a better shoulder rotation we can see here that left arm now sits perfectly in plateau with his uh, shoulder plane which is perfect now this now sets him up to swing on the way down 10 times better he actually swung it better in his first golf swing as soon as he swung that a little bit flatter he swung it better now this is the issue that we had watch this movement from over the from before so you get to top and he would just throw the golf club so far over the top he was very steep anyway all the way over the top and you can see the shaft angle here almost sit through his his face through his mouth and we said today if we can get it to about here let me show you we said if we can get it anywhere to about here where it's in, in line with his right forearm we've done pretty well and guess what on the way down we've made the relevant changes to get this club in a 10 times better position it really is the club now is perfectly in line with his uh, right forearm he's in a much stronger position and now as he comes through the ball the club head is coming through in a much straighter line as well I'll show you this in a second so as he would come into hit oops I'll just bring that back to that same stage as he would come into hit on this left hand side the club head would start to go a little bit outside of the golf ball here right here so you can see the club head there is way outside of the golf ball line obviously that's his target line the golf club head is outside that line so inconsistency of strike was quite was quite common because his club head now through the ball would have to quickly very very quickly swing through the ball in a leftward motion he would have to cut across the ball quite strongly and you can see here as he cuts across it he doesn't successfully hit the middle on this occasion he actually hit the heel quite badly when he did hit the middle this was from his over the top swing when he did hit the middle he would hit the balls either super low and left or with left to right curvature with not getting much height on the ball at all so once we started to work on that downswing we got the feeling of swinging it down this right stick this right line to get him hitting the ball much more from the inside and if we look at the club head approaching the ball here it never once gets outside of the golf ball line the club head is perfectly in line with the golf ball so as it comes in the consistency of strike increased beyond belief we hit every shot smack bang out the middle we hit the ball straighter higher with a draw we hit the ball so so good after that and it's just that feeling of swinging it flatter keeping the club inside and swinging it down that white stick that right hand side um, I'd say Scott had many good things in his golf swing I'll show you show it from this front view as well so this was before and his shoulder rotation and now after so oops wrong video and after so this is his first one his shoulder rotation was quite limited we can't see much of his back so we got to a stage where he's literally picking his arms up in his backswing where now on this right hand side the shoulder rotation is so much better so he's actually seeing more of his back his left shoulder is going under his chin a bit better just a little bit of a collapse of that left knee which is something we're going to work on next time but we can't work on everything in one go but impact, even before and after, was actually quite strong. The shaft angle coming into the ball was incredibly good. But unfortunately, like I said, just that massive over-the-top movement was causing him to hit the ball super low and miles off to the left.
So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, Scott's going to make some massive changes to his golf game this season. I'm looking forward to him continuing this progress. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Do comment down below. And also you can subscribe to the channel just by clicking the, uh, the link down below as well. Thanks so much for watching. And guys, well done to Scott. I think you've done awesome. And hopefully you can continue that. So I'll see you next time.